All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powered Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. Okay, so before you is the Caviso and Ray Laconico collaboration of the Keen Mini in aluminum and 14C28 as a liner lock. That's right. Purchased this one a little bit ago. And this is the Keen Mini, of course. And this version is the blue aluminum anodized 14C28 and stonewash. We'll talk about the other options in a moment. You have this contoured blue aluminum and uh, very nice looking Anna on this. Very beautiful. And again, the contouring uh, is very great. And guys, this is a very Laconico design. Uh, you do have a uh, lanyard hole back here. You do not have a reversible clip. The clip is uh, right side tip up only, which is, uh, you know, uh, fine for me. But again, I know uh, for you lefties, I wish it was there. Now, in this particular case, uh, you have your nice Arla Conico up here on top. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Now, I will say right off the bat, uh, my one ding on this knife is uh, the material. Uh, you know, with a lot of aluminum knives I've seen lately, like uh, from Kaiser and from uh, uh, Civivi, you've ended up, and also from um, uh, Syncut, you've ended up with kind of a, a more... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Matte finish that gives you a little bit of a tactileness to it. In this case, this is pretty slick. I mean, there's no other way around it. Um, you know, by the way, really nice clip. I like the finish on the clip as well. You do have a little bit sticking out of your pocket. Yes, I'm getting distracted. Back to this. So I just wish, so when you first grab it and you're trying to deploy it, it just feels loose in your hand like you could drop it. And you guys know me, I drop things. So very interesting. But again, overall design is just gorgeous. I just wish there was a little more uh, traction. I, I'm trying to make traction here and it just doesn't exist. It is very slick uh, in that regard. Now it is tooled on one side. You do have nice jimping on your, hello, come on, on your flipper tab there. Very, very nice. All right, so let's flip this guy open. Now this one is this beautiful drop point blade. Uh, very, very nice uh, stone wash. All right, hold on. Let me wipe the oil off here a little bit. We got a little bit of oil there. All right, so we're back to this beautiful blade, man. Just great, beautiful, high, flat grind. Um, and the only thing on the blade is the 14C28 right then, right there, uh, and nothing else on this beautiful blade. Um, no swedging, just a nice continuous spine, but it does come to a point down here. Um, you do have a really nice uh, finger choil that is actually just clear of the, of the plunge. The plunge is nice and gradual, uh, but you can see there hopefully you can, that that plunge comes really close uh, to where that is. So you might end up with a little bit of, of a uh, smile there, but it's, it's like I said, it's close. You might be okay with a few sharpenings. It's really hard to tell. Um, now, really nice access to the lock bar there. As you can see, you do have scalloping, but it is rounded off and the lock bar moves very easily. So this is not one of the ones I'll call a sawtooth. Um, it's not bad. It is, I, I can do it over and over again and I do not end up uh, with an indention in my thumb uh, at all, you know, or any kind of issues like that. It doesn't hurt. Um, do I wish? Y y yes. I mean, I wish it was just a chamfer. Of course I do because that's me. Uh, but it's not bad. It's rounded off enough. It's not going to bother me. Now, action-wise, you guys see, let's see, can I fail it? First of all, no, it is not. The detent is spot on with this one. And you can see drops to my thumb, a couple of shakes gets it home. And not bad at all. Very, very nice. Ah, two or three shakes there, but it's okay. Very, very nice. Now, um, I can also, guys, I can middle finger flick it off of the grind right there just because it goes so high. Uh, well, I just did it. 
There we go. Uh, it takes a little bit of work to get used to it, but you can do it. And man, the flipper is really nice. Again, my main issue here is it just isn't very, uh, you know, it's very slick is what I'm trying to say. So really good for finger grip, but just uh, nowhere to really choke up unless you sort of trigger the flipper tab. Not really comfortable for me. So I stay here and I still get four fingers. You can see that clip. Uh, kind of comes in right here, but it's not bad. You feel it, uh, but it is definitely not, uh, you know, a hot spot for me. Cutting wise, uh, yes. I mean, it just, it is very nice. And you know, 14C, I love the steel. Uh, it's going to do a fantastic job and take a really nice edge uh, and come back to that edge pretty easily. Not bad at all. And uh, corrosion resistant and all that good stuff. And it's a nice budget steel and in this case this guy is 60 bucks now whoa sorry about that there is a green version available um let's see green black and blue uh, are the three colors and they are either stonewash or satin you can get either one and it looks like they are still all in stock and they are sitting at $59 only available at Caviso uh, and that's who's uh, working on these uh, with Mr. Ray Laconico. And you guys know Ray is the best. I got to meet him at Blade Show this year uh, from my Tempest Knives booth, booth. And he's just a cool dude, man. We had some really cool conversation there, a really cool conversation, and really enjoyed talking to him. We have some of the same interests and in stuff we watch and, and different things. It was really cool talking to him. Uh, really awesome. But man, look at just a beautiful, beautiful stone wash, beautiful blade. Now let's do our comparisons as we usually do. Uh, now it is going to be way smaller than the Ontario Rat 1 and just about the same size, if I remember correctly, as the Rat 2. It's a little smaller than the Rat 2, actually. Um, now there are other versions of the Keen available, especially through Caviso. I think there's a full size version. There might even be a uh, mini that's in S35 uh, that is more expensive. But this is the one we're talking about today. Now, as far as our um, wow, if I can find it here, uh, specs. This blade is uh, 3.4 inches. The handle length is 4.5 inches. The overall is 7.9 from tip to tail and 4.4 ounces, which is fun to think about because to me, this guy does not feel like 4.4 ounces. Uh, no jimping up here on the top again, leading to that sort of slick feel, which, you know, I usually don't care, but when my hands are already sliding a little bit here, uh, it would be nice to have a little bit of jimping to find something to kind of lock you in. Um, again, uh, Ray Laconico, really cool designer, and this looks very simple, but yet very, very useful, very Laconico-like uh, for sure. So again, check it out. I will have a link below. Uh, very, very cool. And uh, of course, this fits into my Knives Fast Blue uh, all the way. Now I am uh, thinking about trying to find a way to, to put some, some tackiness to that, like rough it up a little bit. And I've got a friend uh, willing to help me re-anodize it if I do that. But we'll see what I do. I don't know. We, we will decide because I really, really adore the knife itself. Uh, the steel, the overall uh, look of it, the profile, everything about it, the cutting ability, just not the, the kind of the slickness of the handle. So there you go, guys. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below of this one. Please give me a comment. It helps the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Do all the things. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you uh, for all of your support and for sticking with me here on the Knives Fast channel. Lots of knives being reviewed, lots more on the way, and I thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.